Minutes from the last meeting. Except for the last one. We have two, two meetings. This would be August 23rd, September 13th. On yeah. September 13th, I thought Dave was here at that meeting. And he doesn't say his name. Um, Were you here on September 13th? Was well, that counts. Yeah, yeah, so just add him there. Okay, quick look over those. Let us know if there's any corrections. I need to abstain from both because I wasn't you here. You weren't here? Okay, I make a motion it's from September 13th and August 23rd. A second. Um, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Probably going to say yes, but I just want to. One abstention. All right. Aye. Ron saying aye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll prove that. Tonight. Well, I approved the minutes. Certificate of compliance, Bernard Hahn. Still waiting. I'm still waiting. <laughs> hey, we got rid of one. Yeah. And we got rid of two, actually. Right. Um, That's the instant. 18 Beachwood Drive. Uh, didn't we already do that? Oh, we did that one. Yeah, supposedly that was already on. Mark yeah. Now, to Mark Folk, he said that was just wait for an order. Didn't we sign it? Yeah, I thought we did. Did we sign it? It was when you were six. I know we finally approved it. I'm still we sick. We approved it. I don't know if we signed it. We approved it. I didn't. I think that was when you were out. You're still sick? She's not bad enough, that was. Far from it. Huh. I did not have that on my notes that we closed on. We did? We did. Yeah, Ron was here, but you were sick. Okay. So it's closed and we got a. Mm -hmm. I'll have to sign off on the next. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, to Lakeview Drive. Okay. Slide forward a little if you want to talk. Addition and site work. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mark Lavasso from Foresight Land Services. It's Mark. Hi, I see you. It's Gail. 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 Hi, David Potter, Green River Design. Yep. Ben we may have signed it, and I may have sent it out. <laughs> what are we talking about now? The Lichtenberg one. Did I send it out? I don't think we've sent it out. He signs as the owner. Uh, up, yeah. No, I would have sent it to you. I don't know. Mark's, um, Mark didn't say he got it, so. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see if I can find it. Not as much as So, this is a notice of intent for a an addition on an existing single family house. It's located at two Lakeview, Lakeview Drive. Thank you. Uh, it's in the Detroit area. Are you Gail? Yes. Okay. Go. How big is the lot? It's less than an acre. Was it point eight four? Eight yeah. Eight, eight tenths of an acre. Probably big down there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Lake was seven, seven, Lake. seven one acres. Two, two Lake View Drive. Um, there's a little locus here. I know it's, it's small, but you come down the road and it's one that the last lots before you get to the um, the outlet, but it's on the um, side of Lake View. So the lake is. I think I, I remember across. seeing that. Yeah. Right. So this is the existing uh, about approximately 800 square foot house. Um, there's a small shed, eight by 10 shed here. 
uh, wetlands surround the entire site and they're flagged, delineated. Uh, gravel driveway comes in, there's a stone walk and stone walk. There's a patio, a stone patio in the back existing. Uh, the proposed work is to install um, perimeter erosion control um, silt socks until here if need be. Um, the addition is located on the back or east side of the, of the house, uh, 607 square foot outlined here. Uh, the existing shed is proposed to be relocated the yard. This is all lawn space. Um, the, this addition is mostly over the crushed stone patio uh, um, in the back, and that will be replaced here as a new stone terrace. Um, this terrace will be open, jointed, and it'll allow for infiltration from the new roof area. Also, not shown the plans, but they are proposing to add, uh, this is the other end of the house that will be a, a drip edge. And there's a currently another, an existing drip edge here and in here for that, for that house. So that will, those two between the stone terrace and the um, proposed drip edge will uh, promote infiltration. Um, also as part of the plan is to uh, remove uh, there's a lot of invasive bittersweet and honeysuckle and buckthorn around in, in the, the proposed um, those invasives of the perimeter of the, of the lawn and replaced with zone things. The propane tank over here that also needs to be reloaded back distance. Um, David's here to speak about that. It is proposed to be on a four foot frost wall. So um, there's a bathroom proposed and just to protect the plumbing. It's on top of the We're staying completely in the lawn area and we're only approaching slightly into the wooded section, but not any farther than where the existing shed is located now. And what's the distance? to the buffer zone. Uh, existing and mentioned on that. I have to the existing. What's that, sorry? How many square feet oh, is the- 607, okay. single story. The existing, it's no closer than, the proposed addition is no closer to buffer zone than existing shed. Corner is the same. So the closest the distance to the wetland is ten feet. Tried to stay at a minimum of ten feet. Yeah, away. well, that's a. That's, that's this corner. That's like ninety feet short. Short of all supposed to be. So, and does the six hundred square feet include the, the six hundred square foot change? Does that include the shed back? That's, another, that's more land being lost. And does it include the new patio? Yeah, you're, you're going to build where the shed is now. But there's the a shed. shed in the back. That's relocated. This one's existing the residence, right. 1,109 feet. Yeah. There's an existing porch and steps of 151 feet and a shed of 80 square feet. So the total existing space is 1,340 square feet. You got the architectural drawings, right? Yeah, that's 1,340 so from the 868. Provided. The new addition is 607, which doesn't include the shed. Or the patio. Sorry? Or, or the patio. Because you've yeah, changed the patio. Yeah, you're moving the patio back too. That's so a that's, landscaping feature. It's a lot more loss of buffer. This one? It's more loss of buffer. I didn't, I didn't calculate the, the terrace. Because buffer's important, buffer sir. I mean, 12 feet out, radius. From this edge 12 feet out and that's the diameter yep. so diameter is 31 feet Very quick calculation everybody remember their geometry yeah <laughs> 12 foot radius circle divided by two yeah and how close is the patio to the wetland it's got to be six feet 
Well, the closest point is in through here, isn't closest it? Closest point is this corner. Right here? Right here. Oh, that's, that's 10, the closest. That's 10 feet. So we're not any closer than that corner. Right, but that's a shed, and this is like new construction. Well, that's the new, the, the new new addition, not any closer than the existing shed. Right, but a but shed, shed is a shed. Shed is than a building. The shed moves to the other location, so. Yeah. yeah. It's picking up, we're not losing that. We're losing more buffer. And back. again, it's right on the border there. Gaining the shed. Yeah. But over here, what's the, what's the distance here? I mean, that's... The opposite corner? Yeah, the opposite corner. <laughs> Yes. This corner, say to, to the nearest wetland. Thirteen feet. Wait, wait. To, I mean, well, I want to see it, but it's way too close. And the gas tank is to the wetlands. Yeah, the existing tank is. Right here, and it's just sliding up a little bit. The existing the tank from the above ground tank. Yeah, it's above ground tank. It's five feet away. What's the under the town bylaw? What's the buffer? Two hundred. One hundred feet. Yeah. Two hundred. Two hundred feet. Okay, so ten feet. We're one hundred so ninety feet short. Perfect. That would encompass. We wouldn't even. We'd be in the road. All right, but it may not be doable in that. I think it's 100 feet for that. I think it's 100 feet yeah. too, but it's not 10 feet. It's not 10 feet. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Previously, with lots this tiny and this small, number one, we're not tearing down the cottage. It's been restored already. We're not building another big house, taking up a lot of footprint like the previous design was. Yeah. Um, this is a modest addition in the existing yard to give Gail what she wants and being as sensitive as we can to knowing that there's no way we can be within any of the setbacks for anything. So, but the, but, but the existing yard would not, this, this would not be able to be built today. That's, this house that's there it's because Beechwood is a swamp. Well, well, we know that. And we know that. Yeah. yeah. Right. This so, is a pre-existing condition. I understand that. But the point is that you know anything that you do or so close to the, you're eliminating the buffer zone in effect and and we can't that's that's so not in our well lives. but I, I i would say that that buffer zone is a mess it's nothing but invasives it's i pulled out buckthorn i've been you know trying to do stuff and so the commitment here would be that i would spend a sizable amount of money going around the entire perimeter, pulling all the invasives out and replanting with native plants. That would and, still be good to do, but you're still losing the buffer yeah. there. I mean, you're still losing that buffer. And it serves a, it serves a purpose. It serves mm. a There's a lot of- The buffer zone being 100 feet? 100 feet. 100 feet. 100 feet. 100 feet. We were just approved for the previous project. We do we have we do approve less, but I've never seen us approve ten feet. We usually approve maybe fifty, sometimes thirty. Well, the president has been set to allow new construction much much closer. Well, then here. what is the point of a buffer? Not generally, you have by a hundred foot not, buffer not zone, fifty feet, and you'll shave ninety feet off it. What is the point of even having it on the books? Well, you know there is isn't... down to six feet now. No, I mean, is that an acceptable buffer zone, six feet? There isn't much of a buffer zone in any no, case. Right. And no. if we, I mean, I can dump this shed. Um, we can rethink. I mean, right now, this is all stone patio. It's permeable. I mean, deliberately, I did it that way. Um, but, um, you know, and this is all lawn. And there's wildlife trekking through my backyard like crazy. So... You know. I would be willing to bet, although I don't remember the project, I know you've been before us before, but I, I would be willing to bet that we required the stone patio because you were so close to the buffer zone. Yeah, we were there. To we did go there a while ago. Yeah, you were permeable. there once. So what you're proposing in what is now a, per, a permeable surface is not permeable anymore. We could take out the stone terrace. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm but, the, but, the, but you, the, you're covering that what is now a permeable 
surface, which is the stone terrace, with something that's impermeable? Well, here's the issue. My previous project, which you were very helpful with me on, became unaffordable to me. The whole motivation behind that was so that I have a small house with two bedrooms and I can't host my grandchildren. I've got twin grandchildren and I just need the space. But unfortunately, um, given what's been going on, there was, you know, it suddenly became impossible for me to build a bigger house. So I'm kind of hoping to get that extra bedroom. Um, and, uh, you know, because of the setbacks, you know, we had to, couldn't go straight back. Um, so we're doing the best with, you know, and this is, you know, I'm now a full-time permanent resident and I made, you know, so I need a house. I, I, I've been here in December with both showers freezing on me and, you know, it becomes unlivable and I need a house that I can live in, in year round. Um, you know, as a stand, but so. our, our mandate is wetlands protection. It's we don't judge it based on whether it's a good project or a bad project. No, I understand. Like I understand that, but really to protect the wetlands. We understand the 50 foot. 50 foot. 50 foot. 50 foot is a, that. Well, 50 foot is like the essential. And 50 feet. 50 feet. If we're 100 feet away, we don't have to come before you, correct? That's right. Yes, you do. Well, you still do. Yeah. Well, the 200 feet. foot, right? Uh, what, uh, 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 gentlemanly like conversation more than 100 feet away but we we can have a notice of intent up to 50 feet correct but there's been precedent set in beechwood because the lots are so small and so tiny and i agree with you closer. but usually we do that when it comes down to like wells or you know things you cannot live without wells or you know um uh, septic. septic these things <laughs> What are you going to do? It's not even really though it's choice. required well, massive redesign. This is, this is a choice to, to the fifty feet. You just permitted Newman, which was my project, and it was what? completely in the friggin' on Birch Lane. It was completely surrounded in swamp, and we the approval was for a tear down and a rebuild. So you know, same and that was that was way feet. less than fifty feet away from anything. But it was same same the same foundation. Was can I can ask you a question here? Yeah, you know, why? No, that was is it in, is it not permissible to go up? Well, I don't. We can't go up unless we tear the house down. No, that, well, the issue is I can't go up. Sure. I've got a, a very bad compression fracture in my back. Yeah, so welcome to the club. To I got one of those. Too. Have steps. Um, so. Theoretically, I guess it's, but I'm really trying to stay on one level, even the previous. Yeah, so I mean, I, the previous design was so that I would be completely on one level, even though there was a lower level. For, Can you give a quick overview of the previous design, design versus this one? Well, the previous design was on another plot. Oh, OK, OK, I'm sorry. I yeah. didn't, I didn't realize different, different thing, which I had to back out of. Plus any old cottage existing cottage that's on piers. I can't put a second floor on it, but that was going down. Yeah. My engineer won't allow it because you don't know what it's fitting on. Right. And any that have had second floors put on, you can see what's happening to the pool water, the neighboring cottage. That has a second no, floor. No, I was just thing. looking for a, so, groping for something. Where, where it needs, where, Gail needs single uh, single floor, and we'll we'll take any input you have to give us an, a, another master bedroom and family room. But there really is just no place else to put it, um, and we're trying the best we can to stay at least in the lawn. Did you just say master bathroom and family room? Yes, I thought it was a bedroom. <clears throat> it is a bedroom, and it's master bedroom, master bedroom suite. Yeah. And that's, again, that's not our, I mean, it's not up to us to give right. you to design your master bedroom. It's up to us to protect the one. Well, my point is that Gail needs single floor living. Yep. Right. But all of that is, is not really. Well, it's not, we don't, you know, we, we, can, we can't advise you on that. We can just tell you. I mean, I have, this property stretches back. It's all 
forested, undeveloped, and will stay that way. Mm -hmm. um, and my entire, you know, there's, I think I'm a good keeper of, of the land. And I really do, I am quite committed. I mean, I'm so close to the wetlands all around, but I'm extremely committed to, um, you know, ensuring that these invasive species go, that it's reflective, properly reflective. And I think it would be better in a better situation than it is now. And given that the shed is there, I mean, I think we can give up the terrace and I can, you know, that's not a critical piece, but I do need the space. The 50 foot for us has been sacrosanct unless there is an actual existing building there because it is so important to the protection of the resource area. And, you know, any time that we hedge that 50 feet, we're setting ourselves up for somebody to come in and say, well, you did it for so-and-so, why can't you do it for me? And it's a real problem. It is not, it is not a good, um, it's not a good precedent for us to set, and it's not uh, in keeping with what we're charged with protecting. I don't think it's a okay. precedent because it means every project it doesn't, is different. Though. It doesn't because requires... fifty feet has been our has been our. Right. Also, can your name? I'm sorry, I'm David just, Potter. David, um, you know, David. Again, what Sally was just saying is is that there are certain things that are mandated to us by the Commonwealth. And, you know, if we start breaking loose of that, you know, there are other people that are going to start thinking we're a little screwy here behind this this table. Well, it already has a structure. And well, it doesn't have this structure. No, but it has, you know, this corner right. and this is all. Um, okay. An eight by 10 shed is not a building under the and what you have there is permeable. What you'd be putting there wouldn't be permeable. And well, we were, rest were restricted by the setback line, the side setback line. It's that's pushing things that way. So, you know, it's, it's not. Well, one of our previous chairmen used to say that just because it's a buildable lot doesn't mean you can build on it. Mm. <laughs> well, okay, go ahead. It just for this like, has to go on the back of the house. Um, that's the logical, given that the kitchen. I don't, I don't know the layout the of your house. Area, well, all the the kitchen living area is all in the front, and there are two bed. There's a, you know, a small bedroom, and then a, a current bathroom and a closet and second bedroom. How far is the house from the, from like? From Lakeview Drive, oh, at yeah. least from yeah. the proper from the front property line, it's fifty four feet. Yeah, change. You know, um, yeah, we could we could redesign it and put it on the front of the house. Um, There's a porch already here, but it doesn't change the setback issue. Is it, yeah, it's yeah, still, yeah, it's still wetlands in the front. Yeah, yeah. So it's still going to be yeah. close to the wetlands. Wetlands here. Yep. So you'd run into the same thing. And of course, the lawn is artificially, you know, created. It's well, it's if you let it go. For, if you let it go for, the cattails. You'd have you'd have wetland plants most likely. Yes. You go to the south from the back corner instead of going back. I don't know. Yeah, would it change your Would it change your opinion if we if it was all on helicals? So there could be a natural flow of water through the property. It wouldn't change my mm, no, still losing. Sure, sure. Sure. Yeah. I guess it should be a bull in that case. Well, and the animals are living under my house. But you're still losing vegetation, which is an important component for. But you're not. How are you losing vegetation? In front of the house, under that's what she's saying. Yeah. If you were you to do it on piers, then the, the um, you still you wouldn't have vegetation growing under there. But You'd have water flow, but not necessarily much vegetation. Well, right, but there's no vegetation here now. That's and because you put in a patio. Permeable. And it's permeable. Yeah. And 
if you're on healer, the you know the water goes through. I mean, nothing's growing there now, and uh, this is just kind of a. It's not a lawn that I maintain. It's okay. I think, I think the roof feet, is the ten issue. Feet from the, you're still going to be ten feet from the bus. So you couldn't go closer to the other property line, closer to twenty two. We would have to get. Um, it doesn't make get us any farther. I mean, if we went straight back. No, I mean, I mean, towards Jamie, the back corner of the house. Don't go, don't go further towards the back. Come towards Jamie from the back corner. That's Jamie. This is Jamie. It's still wet. Hi, <laughs> um, you're still going to be the north encroaching and south. on wet. All the south is okay. Pretty tight wetland mark to me. I am. Yeah. I guess no, I just. What if wanted... we went straight back? No closer than existing to the wetland. What do you mean? I mean, the fact is that most of Beechwood should never have been built in the first place. Yeah, I agree with and, that. And, you know, it, it is, and here we are sitting here with the, with an issue that poor Gail's got to deal with that we're charged with saying, you know, this isn't a good idea. I don't think, you know, we don't think we can do much about this. Well, and I would love to. I would love to do something, but I just don't see what we can do. The town allows us to go no closer to an existing non-conforming setback. But that's um, not wetlands. I know. We are. This design is getting closer to wetlands, and I'll remove the argument that the shed's there. Forget about the shed. Um, you mean this? There's going. You're going to have situations where. You have good people on tiny lots that don't want to spend $3 million. No, on we don't want them. We don't want them to. When I design all the time on bowl, but we're just trying to get My a, a master bedroom and a master bath. A so third bedroom, basically. And single family living. And if we, if we can do it, not getting any closer to the wetlands, that would be a... Uh, not setting precedent as much as coming up with a solution for this particular project. So what are your solutions would be to... I would go slide slide this to the... Yeah. To the, yeah. You can't see on the... And this this color that way. Line is simplified one. The, the, the setback line... I can't even see it upside down. It comes so, the setback line goes like right through the existing corner of the house, right? So right now, the new addition, we're right on the 35-foot setback line. So we're complying, we're complying with planning, with planning, with yeah, zoning setbacks. Um, so that's why we went that way. But we can redesign this and try to stay no closer than the closest point of the existing house but, to the wetland. You're, still go, you're losing the curve. You're going from the impervious to the That's impervious now. And that, that, and that's there's no solution to it. There may not be. There may not be. It's a tiny lot. Well, it's not a tiny lot. It's, but it's an eight, tiny, eight tenths of an acre. But it's, but it's surrounded but it's by wetlands. Usable. And most of it is wetlands and will stay that way. Yeah. And so, you know, I mean, we. But to protect the wetlands, they need a buffer zone. Would the just, size uh, of the addition be the same if you want? I don't know. It would probably um, be a little smaller. So I just want to. The family room could stay where it is, and we would have to swing the bathroom, the master suite, around to the back of it. Um, we're trying to save some money by using a portion of the master bathroom, um, which is already existing but it would just require more redesign. We'll do whatever whatever you say is okay to make it work. May I ask, is it dry when you go towards Four Lake View? When you come closer to you, is, is the only issue the 35 foot setback and not it being uh, wetlands there? You mean the, on this side? The entire, yes. the entire it's envelope. It's ringed with wetlands. If you offset 50 feet, from the wetlands, you'd have zero. Okay. You're on the other side. Sorry for me. Yeah. No. So I yeah. just want to bring up a point just to, just to think out loud. Like, sometimes there is land, as Sally said, that isn't buildable. And sometimes we buy things or we know about things, but we still want to 
and I heard the word want, not need. And um, so we have to sort of adjust that we are commissioned with to protect the land and, and, and wildlife and the lake. And um, it's really a challenge when it's a... What if we took whatever, what if, how will we do this? Can I just ask, did you just... It's not a want, actually, you... it's a need. I mean, I don't want to be forced to sell because I don't right. I, have I, a good, you know, enough size. And honestly, when I bought this property, I wasn't aware, as a lot of people coming from, sure. you know, the city, Boston, that it was surrounded by wetlands. I just thought it was surrounded by forest. So mea culpa, you know, I didn't know, and it wasn't obvious in any of the, you know, paperwork or anything. Um, so, you know. What if we need a real case to be brought into the What if we? I have. You understand that. that we're not not sympathetic to you. We are right. oh, absolutely no, sympathetic to you. No, I would love we to, are yes. between a rock and a hard place in terms of what we can permit. I would love to see this thing I'm thinking out way go forward. But what if we replace? Okay. What if we put the addition no closer than any existing weapon? Just just the minimal amount that we need. And then everything that we build new, square foot, replace <laughs> with new wetland in the front yard. Replacing wetland doesn't, doesn't really work. More wetland yeah. is already there. It's 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 there. It's <laughs> re yeah. Well, it's grass. Well, it's wet grass. I see that this we gra we'll turn the grass into wetlands. Do you have any? A while. Like, I don't see Actually, that. that's. Like you want to see it? We won't mow it anymore. It'll just be I'm reluctant to step in. Okay. I'm happy. I would be happy to okay, conduct a review. If this is already a wall, why can't you go? I'm reluctant to jump in with an opinion. After could you? Not, not David, but. <laughs> this David. This David. <laughs> As opposed to that David. David, we're going to ask you to do that. So, but. I'd like to see a, a different we do plan. Okay. This, this corner here really bothers me. And I don't know what you said, the, like the kitchen is in the front portion of the... Yeah, the kitchen, dining, and living currently is in the front portion, and there's two small bedrooms in the back. Okay. And there's a bathroom over here somewhere. In the, yeah, there's a middle, middle bathroom and a yeah. back bathroom in the master. Next to the master is the. So, so here's what's existing. I'm trying to get my home. So Can I ask you a question? Sure. So I took this paper and I measured, right? I went here, this corner, mm -hmm. I went here. And if I go and match that. All the plumbing is on this side of the house. Wait, wait, wait. Just. That's why they have a bathroom is going to go in there. Right. That's right. Does that help us at all? It brings us to this point. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. use my pen yeah. to mark it. Well, right what's better is to look. It's right in the wet. See, the wet gun line is still there. Oh, OK, it doesn't help. We have to work with a front setback line, which is oh, I have a nice So I know, thought it was further This out. is an option to go forward. I thought it. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be better to go backwards, though, because we can stay farther away. There's, see how this is the wet from line is, is more of a wide circle in the front. Can you take this dog leg out of here and push it that way? Well, the problem is we got to stay within this. This is the setback. Okay. The front setback. Oh, right. Now we can go this way because we are allowed to go no closer than existing, but I would, that would only move that line a few feet. And it would require a special permit. Right. And you're losing the impervious. You're losing the impervious. Right now, that's that's pervious, and you're going to be changing it to impervious. What are the dimensions on these rooms? Small. No, I didn't dimension them. <laughs> but I don't know. Your bunk rooms. Probably the front is about four hundred. What if we take up this room? I don't know what. It doesn't matter what it is. But yeah. Can you? It's 12 four. So this it's 31 feet wide. I think what, what Jamie's what, what Jamie's suggesting is it's take here. knock this back. I think we could try it. We certainly can try this. 
I mean, we're on your side. We're not, anything, we're, right? we're not fighting. But we're just trying to figure it out. I know. I appreciate so this allows Gail to keep the, a lot of this existing bathroom. Right. No, the plumbing's, plumbing's on one side. Yeah, I see that the whole this yeah. side's got all the plumbing on it. Right. And you know, this is can't, didn't want to go any more this way, so we placed the views out the back. We can get rid of the shed. We can get rid of the stone. Do you have a well? Yes. The well is right. <laughs> it's right off the house. It's right up here by the. Uh, yeah. Are these stairs? What are these? That's hanging. Oh, okay. Sorry, hangers. Closet. Looks like oh, no closet. stairs to me. <laughs> yeah, there, there is no closet. There are no, no closets. There's no stairs in this house. Mm -hmm. So, can we go see it? Sure. But I, I, I you know, I'm going to speak for myself and be honest. I'm not optimistic. I just don't see where you're going to go by the wetlands bylaw and fit something in there but i'm happy to see it I'm happy to look Problems. at what you come up with oh. I'm, I'm i'm what about can you turn do something with the screen porch i know it's great to have a screen porch but well we're adding a master bedroom and it's better on the back of the house because master the plumbing, bedroom there's suite. no plumbing on that side of the house where the porch is i mean the how, are, how are you going to keep this other, you've already said you've had freeze ups. Yeah. Yes. In the construction process, I would it, get it wasn't to insulated properly. We're underneath. So, so I'll take it. It'll be of insulated that. from underneath. The, the, from underneath. It just needs more insulation underneath. Yeah. The chases aren't, you know, the pipes aren't insulated enough. And of course, the, if there's a new addition on the back, that'll be the foundation. We'd like a foundation, <laughs> but we can do piers. Helicals. All I care about is that my pipes don't freeze. You and John Stern. Well, we could, what would work really the best is to keep the bathroom here. I mean, you all can't that? see all of this, but all right, got this one. we could move the closet here and stay this far away. And then, you know, the, the master bedroom would have to be out to the back. You know, that would, that would get rid of maybe 10 feet off this corner here and keep us farther away. That'd be better than what's here now. How about you come back with a redesign? similar to what you just proposed. We'll get the, the closer measure, measurements. Um, and get as much in a tighter space as you can possibly do it. But, you know, if, you're, if they're 10 feet from the buffer, I mean, from the wetlands, it, to me, it's just not gonna work. Even, even with yeah. the design, if they're still that the whole, close. The whole project is, much a, a no go, but I'm, I'm I'm trying to work. I understand. I just don't want to get your hopes up that if you do a new design, if you're still dealing with that. Well, I think you should come see the site, and I'm sure somehow we'll figure out a solution. This here. Um, yeah, this, I'm not on the planning board. I know nothing about their little thing. I mean, you know, you're, you're pretty close to the property line here. But yeah, it's it, a pre-existing non-conforming. Uh, so we are conforming here. That's right. why it's pushed over. That special permit with the planning board. It's not required. If, if any new addition meets all of the other requirements in the bylaws, which it does, not conservation, but you can do it by right as long as the addition is within the setbacks and doesn't go over 10 percent conservation is a separate issue yeah. if we pushed it over more we can only go that much farther we can't go any we can do that yeah. with a special permit yeah what could you know right. i don't think it's going to help us much actually i prefer to stay that far away because there's things happening here we need to stay away from um, but we can certainly redesign and bring the, the master more around the back 
and try to keep all of our new construction farther away than what's existing Got through the wetland. And it would all be an existing lawn. Not that that needs anything. Like Ron said, you know, maybe it's one of those, it is one of those come back with your second shot. Okay. You know, Could um, the new addition have a second story on? If Gail can't get up there. We didn't design a second story, no. Just vaulted well, something. Well, theoretically, yes. And the loft for the grandchildren? I, the kids, I was just, that's what I was thinking that, well, why don't we, we'll go offline and see what we can come up with. But the issue is gear replacement we'll try to, to support somehow. Yeah. Anything. Well, the new, actually, the new one would be fine because it would be on new piers. You give the kids a ladder, they'll just climb it. Yeah, right. All so, it's, it's six. to prove this is, is a majority. It'll be 14 it's, before you know it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Not a unanimous vote. Right. No, majority. Majority vote of the core of whoever's here. Mm -hmm. Quorum. Of a quorum. Four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I would like, I would just like to know if there's a majority of members here who are willing to consider that option. Otherwise, we're just spending design fees for no reason. I'm, right. I'm paying him. Yeah. That's why, that's why I spoke and said, I don't see how you can do it. I can see that you're leaning towards a no. I'm leaning towards a no. Yeah, I just don't see it's right. just too close to the front, too as close as to the west. just need a majority. As am I. That's no. four no's. Yeah. Well, so um, I'm not going to be here um, the next meeting because it's um, time to go and sail some of these boats to the Bahamas. So I I'm leaving in tell December. You. So um, I'll be back in December. I won't. So do are we going to go and have a look though? Why don't you go have a look? What, and then what do we want to do that? I, I, I would want to know that there's at least. A majority of the committee willing to consider. Let's let's do that. We'll go look. Turning any more hours. We'll give you we'll give you an, uh, a consensus at that point. So don't redesign or anything. Right. Okay. okay. Don't spend any more money. I'm not going to. I know that you know. Some stakes in the ground for a couple of these proposals would be little flags or something. Yeah, but that's if it was designed. We're not designing mm -hmm. right now. You've got some, you know, you've got some really hard decisions to make, and unfortunately, finances are always a problem. We we are just in the prom, process of, we just built our old people's house, and we have we're renovating our house in the Adirondacks because the functional part of it, that would be the bathroom, the kitchen, fell off. So we where <laughs> where in the Adirondacks? In Wilmington. But oh, wasn't that a fairly new bridge for you? I'm sorry. Wasn't that a fairly new build and it's falling apart? Oh no, this was from 1910. Around yeah. different houses. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, no, the new house is is okay, um, but we had to make we had to make an awful lot of decisions that were based on what we could manage financially. Right. And um, I mean, this was totally driven by the fact that I and couldn't and, do the other one. You know, I I'm I'm looking at this as if it were my project, which it's not. Um, and I have a seven, a six, and a three-year-old grandchild, so I know your deal there. We've had them all week. Um, You're still like a lot. We're sending them up. To I had them for three days, and I was... And we'll send them up to you and Murphy. Um, I'll take some. My grandchildren? Yeah. You don't know what you're saying. You have haven't any, been uh, around my grandchildren. Not that Probably I don't love my grandchildren, but let me tell you, there's a reason why when you're my age, you don't have you don't have a seven year old, a six year old, a three year old. But they like to watch us. Yes, I they do. This. All right. And so, so I, I, I just statement. I would look at the screen porch. I know you don't want to lose your screen porch, but I would look at the screen porch as a possible space. Discuss it. Discussing. I would. Think about your closet, which, believe me, I love closets, but well, I there think aren't about your there, closet no. in terms of, you know, we have underbed storage in our camp in the Adirondacks because we the rooms are just barely big enough for the beds. 
Um, we have no room for bureaus. We have no room for any it's of those. It's not your primary residence. Uh, I, I get that. No. This is my primary residence. Yeah, and, but, our, but our current house isn't that much bigger than that. So, um, you know, it's... Uh, Friday, we it's need tough. more square footage. Uh, and Friday. There's only so much square footage in the existing house. Early next week? Early next. David, where's the oh, Thursday? Where's the current wall? Thursday before two? This is all Thursday? Before two? Existing. Okay. Uh, existing right okay. Now. okay. Which we already have. This is the addition. Wednesday. Uh, the next here. week? No, that's Wednesday's closing stone. stone. Brain okay. hurt. Okay. Wednesday's what? Closing okay. rain hurt. Next Wednesday, I'm okay with next Wednesday at three two thirty. I'm good. Better three. Um, what's the date? Is the nineteenth? Next Wednesday is the nineteenth. Keeping things Okay. Yeah. So it's two. Oh yeah, that's why. I, you time? said it. Yeah. Three o'clock on the nineteenth. What are we doing? Three o'clock on the nineteenth. Two. Three. 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 Oh, you're looking at your calendars. There should be a law, a law yeah, for Lake Street South by the way. Do you want to get them? Hey, Sally, and Ron or Chairman? Yes. On, uh, if Service. it's available, can we you also um, schedule the uh, botanical garden? Um, I, can't, I can't do the Thursday or the Wednesday. Just saying. This was a Wednesday, Uncle Gardner. The 19th. They, have, they want to set aside for it. A visit for I do. botanical gardens. I do. I do. Project. For the what? Uh, so you're not botanical gardens? We got no, it's swim across. Wednesday or Thursday next week? How about Thursday next week? I can't do, I can't do Wednesday. I can do Thursday at... Um, I don't have anything on the 20th. Three on, three on the 20th? All right. Anything? Any other conflicts? Okay. 20th? So 20th so that's Thursday. Botanical gardens? Yes. So Are we doing... Are we doing Two site visits. Like you drive on Thursday or not? Yes. Okay. 3 p.m. That we're doing on Thursday, then 2020. Change that, John. So okay. Lakeview Thursday, the botanical on, garden. Yep. Twenty. But on we'll do after that. Wednesday. Yes. And then they're doing. Oh, they can't do the Thursday. botanical garden. Yeah. Yes. Sally, are we doing the botanical garden? Sorry. The next day. On the 21st. So I have the botanical gardens on the 20th. Thank okay, you. so the bit wait, the botanical garden uh, Thursday, 20th. Okay. Do the 19th. But don't, yeah, if, if oh, don't that's when you guys can go there, let's just go with it. They can, we'll represent them. Okay. <laughs> they, that was the one day they said they could not do. I just right. want to pick like a day, another day to go. Okay, if they can't do it, it's okay. So, with you? what do we have here, finally? Three o'clock mm -hmm. at Two Lake Drive, Lakeview Drive. Yep. And we leave Lakeview Drive, we go to the Botanical Gardens. So okay, the on which date, though? Yes. 20. Tuesday, the 20th. The 20th. So, is that going to be okay, Steve? That works. That's okay, yeah. Yes. All right, just to review. 20th. So they're both on the 20th? They're both yes. on the 20th, what the time? first at Lakeview at 3, garden. and then the Botanical Garden. Yeah, yeah right after. Yes. So we, Come on, we can 45. Yeah, something. So two leg drivers at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 345, Steve. Mark. That's okay. Mark. <laughs> She's going to go see you back. So that's right. um, what are we looking Steve. at at Botanical Garden? Uh, they're building a new structure. It's uh, the farm at the garden. It's, it's a big structure that they're wanting to behind build. the barn up in that behind the ex exhibition hall, I think it's yeah. called. I think it's so. called the. It's not my project, but yeah, it sounds it's another swamp. <laughs> yeah, it's getting near. It's close to the wetlands. Oh dear. And Two thirds of Stockbridge is. And it's a and it's a big There's nothing project you can do about that they're it. talking just about too. The way it is. It's on the north side of the road or the south side of it. It's on the south side. South side of the road behind okay. the exhibition hall. Where would we go? If you want to meet at the exhibition hall. parking lot, the main main parking lot, kind of towards the back there. On the south side, near yeah. the gift shop. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a Moving on. Got it. Not, not, not full size? Yeah. All right, so they get some food. We'll come and look. Thank you.
is an L shape, but it's big. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Probably good. Thank you. Stakes off there. Yeah. Major corners. Flag. Corners. Okay. Okay. Night. 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 If I recall, that's pretty thick. In there. If you recall, we had issues with something else they did with that. But there were wetland issues. All right. His project, so. That's it. <laughs> you can pick on him. Right, thanks. Okay. Thank you. Right. <laughs> we have things to sign. Old Stockbridge Road. Larry Wag Crossroad. Enforcement order. What's the 102 in the Lincoln Road? Oh, yes, yeah. um, that's where we're going to just write a letter. Oh, okay. So that's why. That's right. That's right. Okay. And then this is, this is um, the certificate of compliance. Let's talk with you. With conditions that the no cut zone as delineated on the plan be maintained in perpetuity. Health of the approximately 100 trees planted under this order be upheld as much as practicable in order to maintain the integrity of planting and forestation within the Scenic Mountain Act. 212 or 218? This one says 218. And then this is. This is Strand, the um, 12 Larry Wall Crossroads, the ANRAD. Right. Mm -hmm. Area of resource people delineation. Oh, that's not what I thought you said. Which has been reviewed by our esteemed colleague over here. Approved mm -hmm. by commission. The date there, mm -hmm. Those last people, if there were not wetlands involved, is it okay to go closer to the setback if the neighbor says it's okay, or does that not matter at all what the neighbor thinks? We'd have to get a special permit. Special permit. Okay. Select vendor planning board. Select. But I imagine, I imagine it helps if the neighbor says no problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You have to print their names on this one too. Yeah, this is a tough one. I don't see well, how we can approve it. I don't. I just. I don't. have nowhere to go. Yeah. I just don't see how we. Can. That's up. They can go. Up. So they can go up. What, what was the cons you know, I didn't see it. What was the constraint about moving things closer to the road? The wetlands are still, the wetland surrounds the whole property. So it's, still, the wetland. it's still 10 feet to the wetland, even if they moved forward. Their front yard is a big puddle when it rains. And they're. The whole place is a big puddle. It's BVW. So the whole thing is true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Really, Beechwood should, I don't think any of it that I don't I've think ever anything seen else should have They're been. probably out of the hundred and some odd houses that are down there. They're probably 10 that could have been built today. So they really filled in back in the day. They just brought dump trucks in. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Probably from GE because a lot of people who lived there were from GE. Oh, really? At the time. Yeah. Yeah. Be interesting to do some core samples. Yeah. Yeah, it might, be, it might, it might be upsetting. I mean, there there are rivers that run through there. I mean, rivers. Um, there are. It's an, it's a nightmare. From an environmental standpoint, it's most of the places that you walk around Beechwood are all slush. I mean, you could. Well, I think I think you guys made the right decision by just kind of things to get out to the site. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
take a look at it. But, yeah. Some of us have been there before. And we're, yeah, we know. But I mean, we've been out there for any number of projects that we look at and go. Yeah, yeah it's a difficult situation. I mean, um, if there's not, if there's going to be a net loss natural vegetation on a project site that is already very, very constrained, it puts the commission in a really and we're there all the time at this particular area. Yeah. <clears throat> you've got options. You could deny or you could approve. If you deny, they could appeal it. Um, it's interesting to see what the EP would be something like that because 10 feet is really close. That's really close. And I, uh, I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, you may as well not have a. Uh, you know, a buffer zone. Well, yeah. So getting down to five, in some places, I think it's less than 10 feet. Right. So the buffer zone has got, you know, it serves a couple of different purposes. So one, it's just this uh, discretionary zone that if people are following the law, they've got to come in here and get permission to do something, right? So it's kind of a, it is, that's really, that's why they call it a buffer, because it gives you guys a bite at the apple to say, like, okay, what's going on here? What do you propose? What are your methods going to be? What are the long-term plans? But the heart of it is actually a very, very functional piece of real estate that is intended to filter out pollutants and transform nutrients and remove toxicants and sediments from stormwater and provide wildlife habitat and flood storage and all these other things. And that's why this buffer zone manual, um, in large part, why this buffer zone manual was prepared by MACC some years ago, because it talks about the science behind the protection of buffer zones. The other part that's complicated is we've got the Wetlands Protection Act, right? It's the Wetlands Protection Act, not the Buffer Zone Protection Act. The buffer zone is just that, again, that place that if you're doing work, you've got to come in front of the commission to say, this is what we're planning to do, and these are our methods. Um, so finding that balance about which portion of the buffer zone legitimately should be preserved versus which part of it is just a discretionary that is. Well, but we also have a town bylaw. Well, that's that protects thing, that right? protects and the that gives you all sorts of additional discretion. Yeah. So if we said no based on the town bylaw and they appealed to DEP. They can't appeal. They appealed mm -hmm. as a court case. Yeah. Court case. Yeah. But in the town, but if yeah. you know, they, could appeal, they could appeal the wetlands protection portion of it to DEP, they right? Yes, right. Yes. right? Yep. You'd be denying this under the Wetlands Protection Act theoretically. Mm, I'm right. thinking town bylaw. Right. The town bylaw and the. And but the we could do both, yeah. Right. Right. Which is what we've done before. Have to, have to go to DEP and, and seek to have a superseding order mm -hmm. to overturn the commission's decision, and they have to go to court. Has DEP ever turned over the commission before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes for the good and sometimes we, we disagree. Well, actually, before we were upheld by DEP and that was appealed and it went to Boston in the Stockbridge Bowl thing. Isn't that how that went? Because uh, I thought it was like a pitch field. No, the one in Pittsfield. Yeah, the EP did a really cagey job of writing their superseding order on that one. Um, they they made it so that it was purposely, or they're just not that. No, they were they were very smart about how they did it, and and they did it in a way that would pretty much ensure that the herbicides would be really difficult to to do. Um, and, and they did they did what they could do under the law, mm -hmm. but they were very clever about how they did it. But I think it would be hard to make a case that 10 feet from the buffer zone is acceptable. Yeah, that would be, I think so. It would be a difficult case, case yeah. to, to DEP or any commissioner. Yeah. Yes. And you feel bad for the people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm sorry, there yeah. is the screen porch. Mm -hmm. that they could lose. So the screen's on the front? The screen yeah. porch is existing. Yeah. And if she desperately needs another bedroom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is the screen porch. There you go. You know, and, and as much as 
that's harsh. Okay, it's harsh. Little cabana things with screens all around it. You want to sit out in the yard? Yeah, I mean it. It that one that we what was the one that we redrew? I don't know how many times up on um, Lake Drive. Was it Lake Drive? We kept it was it was white. And we kept making them make oh, it smaller and it smaller steep. and smaller. It was, it was really it was steep. steep. And she was shoehorning it between the trees and the cliff and the, yeah. <laughs> and it went from, you know, it, by the time they were all, it was all said and done, it was about half the size of the original project because we just couldn't, we couldn't figure out how to fit it in. And, and you know, this is, this is one of those where, yeah, no, you're right, though. The screen porch is an option. Gonna, I mean, option. I hate to use the expression, suck it up, but she's going to have to make some really hard decisions on this if she wants to keep that property and be able to have her grandchildren there. And I, and I get that, sure. you know, bad. But isn't it the responsibility of the homeowner? Like, these are the conditions you have, and you have to make these hard choices. Like, that's yeah. it. Like mm -hmm. you can't always get what you want. Yeah. Because yeah. right. they kept saying want, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like then you have to move. <laughs> I have a question, and that, and that is, in other municipalities or counties in the Commonwealth that you may have encountered, has there ever been an attempt? to clue the realtors into cluing the people who are interested in buying the property as to what the downside of the property is and how they go about doing that. Because this is a typical case of this. And we're, deals. And right. we're going to get more of these coming at us. But well, people can't call me all the time. Well, they call you all the time, but I mean, they do. Realtors, realtors, call, realtors call me and That's say, good. what can you do on this property? And I'll say, well, you know, I would, I would come in. I always tell them to come into the commission. I'm not going to give them a final decision. Yeah, to um, answer your question, is no formal, you know, approach that I know of. There needs to be it. something. But I, Dwight says that when I was at DEP, I got called frequently by the state agents to say, hey, I'm looking at this piece of property that my client wants to buy. What can we do? Which is a wooden car. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, if you've got a proposition with something you'd like to do, you've got to apply. If you're within this, you know, that's all I can tell you. But um, it's just too bad there's not a manual for buying yeah, property in Commonwealth. I think a lot of them are more savvy than you know what they tell their clients. They're, I think when they show up with their lawyer, to, they know what's going on. To move properties. Mm -hmm. Well, like the lady said. She thought it was all um wood woodlands. She had no idea it was sure, sure. It was wetlands. Yeah, she's from Boston. Right. She didn't know the difference. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, Out in the if forest. You're, if you're someone who has was what you fill it in. It's only a short walk to the lake, but no it's all water. Water. <laughs> Why would you yeah. Yeah. walk through? The Come in know. August and say, "Oh, this is." But if you're from Boston, you know that your entire the entire city was built on. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Phil. Big piece of it. I'm surprised but, that some of the skyscrapers haven't fallen. Law enforcement wetlands do not jump out of people. They wetlands. did, though, when they were building the Hancock Building. We were living in Boston, and the mm -hmm. and the and they it shifted. Well, the and it shifted. Windows so, popped out. So all the windows popped out, and so they had the whole thing. They had the whole. I thought thing that was bad windows off. when I was a kid. Those were. That they had the whole thing cordoned off because the windows kept falling out of the building down onto the ground. Actually, I was living in Boston then too. Oh, me too. It was early seventies, right? They called it the plywood skyscraper for a while because they had to replace all the build all the windows with plywood. It was it was not funny, but in a way, it was funny. No, because it cost glass somebody glass a lot of money. I'm Whoa. sure. First yeah. pieces of glass came down. It was pretty serious. The World Trade Centers were built on the same yeah. thing. Yeah. From dredging. Okay, moving on. All right, moving on. Yeah. Performance yeah. standards. Right. Where is that? Has anyone the report? Yes. Have you have you looked at some? Yeah, yeah, we've got a meeting on October twenty fourth. A what? special meeting to discuss. That. And my question had been: Did we invite the, the um, town council? Because my concern uh, that was discussed. Yeah. It's going to go back, and then it's going to come back to us, and then we're going to send it back to her. It's been ping ponging. I don't know what Michael Canales. You asked. That him. was discussed with him. I don't know where it went. Okay. 
And you haven't heard anything either. No, I haven't had any conversations with right. you guys about this. So, but I think we had six o'clock on the twenty-fourth. And and I now have come, we have Kampusa Bog at five o'clock that day, John. I'm not sure away. You might be away. No, I think it's the twenty-fourth. The twenty-fourth. So Same day. The next day. Okay. Sorry. So tell me this again. Can we? Can, is it possible to make it six? October twenty-fourth at six p.m. That's. What we said. It, is it possible to make it six fifteen? Because we we both have another meeting. That's it's Monday. five to six. That's a Monday. That's a Monday. You guys have propose that. that date. If we if another day it. makes more sense, that's fine. We'll it's good. okay. It's okay with me. I just do it a few minutes later. We'll drag our feet a little. So is that happening? Uh, first I've heard of it. Well, we said it at the last meeting. Right. Yeah. Is that for everyone? For everyone to look at your changes. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll confirm with Michael. Okay. And is it? Do we go over to you before? I'm trying to do it a week before. Well, several days before. And do we? So you think having a because it's going to take a while to go through this, and I didn't think doing it at a public meeting was. Yep, I agree. Um, is it? Do we have a room or is it Zoom? I think you said you would I haven't I have I have done nothing useful for the last week. I'm sorry. I'm I know it's okay. Yeah, I think it was we were planning to do it in person here. Here, but do but did okay. we reserve a room? Probably have to talk to Teresa, but I understand. Yeah, we'll get a room. Teresa, I'll, I'll, Teresa I'll, send, is out. I'll send Teresa a thing and ask she, her where she's we She's out be. right now on a family uh, thing. Okay. She's uh, there, there's some um, She okay? I don't know. Uh, you know, Michael Canales told me it was a, a, she had a serious family matter and she might be away for a while. Okay, well, we Does can. No, no, that's so a, a selectman secretary. So she would be the person normally. I got a thing from somebody saying, I think Terry Emelini is going to deal with all that now okay. for a while until oh. Teresa gets back. So I'll, I'll let Terry know and see where we can go. We could, I mean, there's the community center, there's the you know, there's the yeah, meeting the room. Nice huh? The chairs are nice down Yeah. So I'm sure there's some uh, work. Go. But do we have to be it? Does it have to be a public meeting or do we have to have it hybrid? I don't know. We don't. I don't think it's required that we have it hyped in. Okay. No, unless so we advertise it that way. We're looking at 1024 at 615? Yes. Yeah. I can do that. Okay. Um, Thank you. Berkshire Botanical Garden will go into a site visit. Agricultural Forestry Commission. This is because it came up at this meeting that there's a lot of hemlocks dying around the bowl. Mm -hmm. We talked about talking to the Forestry Commission about that. And they said they would invite you, if you want, to a meeting on 11-7 to discuss it. People are interested in doing that. When it, um, I'll, I'll give it a shot. When when it comes to um, the hemlocks around the lake, and you know the issue that we have with them, would it not be prudent to make mention of the Stockbridge Bowl Association I, so they could send out a yeah? Well, that was that thing? was going to be my suggestion. Yeah. Yes, it would be prudent to get that. Is commission the same one that's. Trying for a farmer's market? Yep. Yep. Who's supposed to be where? We're going to on the island drill. in Cypress Bowl. No, probably behind, probably right here. Right in here in town hall. Probably right in town hall. Oh. Yep. I don't think so. <laughs> I could do that. Um, okay, so Ron, you'll come? I'll give it my best shot. What time? 6.30. Um, and they're, you know, our meetings are less than an hour. They're really quick. Are you, but this is 10.24, right? No, this is 11.7. 11 11 oh, no, I'm not, I'm not even in, in the country. Yeah, well, all are welcome. Any other business? Um, you asked me for the uh, land that I mentioned that the commission owns for sure out in West Stockbridge. So I oh. printed out, yeah, West this is, I mean, on the border of West Stockbridge, up in the northwest corner. There's 300 acres. Wow. That's under our going, view, too. Going, 
Yeah. <laughs> this is under our no as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> no is that right? Yes. Hell hath no Correct. Mm -hmm. What does that say about women being angry? Hell hath no fury like a woman's scorn. Oh, so that going, wouldn't fit. Going west to. Uh, to, to the southwest of 102. Um, as I was reminded no, it's, once, it's by, to the north. As I was reminded once by one of the selectmen in town years ago, I had one. his so, name was Chris Earth. Did nobody know who owns that piece of property? No. Well, this this was voted in 1992 by John Biacco, Mary Flynn, and Gene Taub. They were on the board. And they voted this land to be in the custody of, of the CONCOM. Where is this town? 300 acres. So where is it? Wow. It's, um, it forms part of the boundary of West Stockbridge. But where? Is it, the, is it down near the Sportsman's Club or is it? Uh, northwest uh, part of Stockbridge. Over towards the DeSisto plot. So DeSisto, is it by yeah, the part of it borders Averick Lake? And oh, one, way over that mountain? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Part of it has th one plot has three vernal pools and one plot has one vernal pool. Be nice to go see them. Yeah. So this is this is something that we have jurisdiction over? It comes under chapter uh, 40, uh, section 8C. So yeah, definitely. And then there's the one that's um, on the bowl. Hmm? On the the bowl. town has property on the bowl, 22 oh, yeah. acres. It's, it's, yeah, it's a 20 acres? It's 22 oh, acres, I think. Oh, I, was, I was thinking of that. Or it's on Lily Pond. Pond. It's on Lily Pond. On Lily Pond. Yeah. Yeah. That's 68 oh, no, acres, actually. Is it 68? That's the one from Dan. I thought it was down to, to 22. No, 68 acres. I think they gave away part of it. From Ooh, town? They didn't do it through us because it was. No, they didn't. But I think I think that it's smaller than it used to be. I was just going by the deed. The deed said sixty-eight, sixty-eight point three acres. You know the property that we should. I'm get. pretty sure there's something funky about that. It would be good to get a, get this all on a map. So because this is that is that is one piece of property that we should definitely have a conservation restriction on. Oh yeah. On Lily Pond, absolutely. No. Yeah. What is a I mean, conservation a, restriction? What do you mean by that? Mm. That it can't be under, developed. Yeah. Oh, but if we own it, yeah, it, it, it could come be under. Our, the town our, owns it. We don't. Oh, well, no, actually, I think. But no, it's, under it's, this, it's, it's under forty four chapter forty eight C. So we are the administrators of it. We are. Yes, yeah, we are. Right here. Thank you. I can bring you in the deed if you'd like. This to is the it. one on on Lily Pond. On Lily no. Pond. Really? It was Dan, uh, Rothstein. Is it Dave or Dan Rothstein? David. David, David, David. Rothstein. My old boss. That's why I think there's something funky about it. <laughs> well, no, because I think I, that I, probably I, I, what I, I, happened I, 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 is that he got blackmailed nice by Yako and Mary and whoever else was involved and said, you do this and we'll do this. I'll bet you. Do I swear I I swear I read somewhere that it was tied up in the whole white pines. Well, I, I got the deal. And that the, 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 the property that was originally the town's property was supposed to be the town's property, that there was there was some thing. Well, I got the deed in 2018. It. it was as okay. of <laughs> right. not just far past Rusty. You know, I mean, he's, he's gone to Sheffield and he's done. Right. No, I know. I'll, I'll bring it in. I'll, okay. I'll make copies of the deed. I've got a couple of copies at home, but I'll make new ones. I'll bring them in for everybody. Cool. And, everybody? Uh, yes. Don't bring one for me because I'm not going to be here. All right. Yeah, I think yeah, it shows one. 22 acres here. Yeah. It should be more than that, though. I don't think I, it is. Again, something. the property that yeah, we should own. This one right here? The property we looked at a number of years back. They were going to go over the yes. truck. And I'd have to have Look that. Yes. yes. Which town? Yeah, it's nice um, and it says conservation area. OK. Oh. Unless there's something else in addition. Uh, Wheatley Drive. I'll bring it. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I could have sworn it was a lot there. It said down there to the brook, then along the so according to what tom said we can do eminent domain 
Yeah, you, we could. I think we should do eminent domain on that property. Oh, the one that. Uh, yeah. yeah I, it's the most important piece of property, which, I think. Which property? For the, a for Wheatley the Drive. watershed for Stockbridge Ball. Wheatley Drive. Lily is, is, runs yeah, right through. 19 and 21, Pond, I think it was. And according all to all the studies of the bowl, Lily Brook and Lily Pond. Is it still for sale? Uh, Tributaries. Okay. Yes. It's a beautiful piece of land. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Oh, you've been there, David. Yeah, yeah I, I was there when you were there. Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing that culvert come out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Brooke. Yep. The project anymore, so there's no, yeah. it's not going to get that yeah. out of there. But that would be such an important piece for the town to own. It really would be. How many, I can't remember how many acres it was, but it's, it's No, I don't, that I don't recall. I can't even make an erroneous guess. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, well, Tom. Maybe I can. <laughs> <laughs> so which, which piece is that that you're talking about? Which it one? It runs right along Lily Brook. It's privately owned now. It's not It's not going to be under us. And so. it's between Lily Brook and White Pines. And if you can find... Um, if you can find... I think it's... That's Lily Brook right here. Okay. So I, I think it's, like I it, think it's 19 and 21, right. Chuck. Right. 19 and 21. Pretty sure. Yeah. But in any case, but, um, anything else? No, no. I, that was that was my show and tell for tonight. <laughs> That's great. Make a motion. A second. It, if we're going to make All the motion, adjourn. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye.